Hey guys, what's up? It's Mike. It's Dan. It's the Double Chen Show. Woohoo! And today we're gonna talk to you about gifts that you should never give to a Chinese person. Never. We did a chopstick taboo. You guys love that, so we figure we're also gonna. Cause people ask us all the time, like, "Hey, well, I'm going to like my wife's, my girlfriend's parents' house. The, you know, it's, they're Asian, or I'm it's going also to Asian. graduation season. Graduation. Oh my gosh, guys, guys. So you really need to know this. Um, I think like growing up, I knew some of these. Yeah. But after like doing the research, there's a lot more I didn't know. So we want to share all those with you guys. Let's all talk right? about it. All right. So the first one is, guys is never give a Chinese person a clock. No, never. Okay? Never, because a clock, the term for it is song, zong, uh -huh. and it actually refers to a, it sounds like um, that the time when you're about to pay the person the last respects, like when they're yeah. about to die. Right. Like you're sending them off. Song, zong literally means yeah. um, to escort someone to the end, usually yeah. of life. All right, next, one favorite thing uh, Chinese people love to give each other is fruit, mm -hmm. right? We love fruits, we love oranges because it's jinju, because it's gold oranges. Yep. We love all this stuff. But one fruit you should never give a Chinese person is pear. Why not? They're delicious, bro. Well, they are delicious, but pear in Chinese is li, mm -hmm. which also sounds like the term for separating. Yeah. So a lot of these are homonyms, right? Right. And so if you give it to especially a couple, you're basically wishing that they're, they're gonna... Yeah. Or you're predicting that they're gonna s split up. W right. War, it, you, it could mean that if you give it to someone that they could die because to leave Kai or leave the human world... Exactly. That word is not very good, so nobody wants to accept any Li or pair in terms of presence. So don't give them that. Give them the golden oranges. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Jinju. Or, yeah, right? definitely. Stick golden to oranges. Oranges. oranges and people Chinese people love gold and also if you guys if you guys uh give incense mm -hmm. um actually you know you're supposed and you're supposed to give offerings right yeah. fruit actually Chinese people never put pears no. to offer because that's it's very disrespectful to whoever you're offering incense to exactly all right next one I'm kind of sad about this because I love uh yeah you do you know what I'm yeah um this specifically handkerchiefs now nowadays Nobody, nobody uses handkerchiefs anymore. Okay. No. That so could, you know why? Why is that? Because it's nasty. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Wait. I mean, what so do you, you do? You you snot you snot ball into it and then you put it back in your well, pocket. Well, that's that's what I thought when I was growing up. I'm like I'm like, why does my grandpa? My grandpa had a handkerchief and he would blow his nose, that's put it back. Nasty. Maybe that's we don't do that now. So nowadays. Like these are these are handkerchiefs, but they're pocket squares. They, right. They go with your suit. It's a, it's a it's a decoration. It's a decoration, man. But I'm kind of sad because you're actually you're never supposed to give a Chinese person a handkerchief, or they also say a towel, uh -huh. which I'm assuming it's a hand towel, because like a like a towel. What are you like Chinese people use small towels. Yeah, we do. Yeah. So to me, they're hand towels because when I say towel, I mean like a big giant towel. Okay. So anyways, you're not supposed to because it's basically like, that's what they, pa they pass handkerchiefs out at a funeral to wipe away the tears so that when you're grieving. So basically if you give them a handkerchief, it's like, is, did somebody just die? This is something you should never give someone. An umbrella. Oh, you know, I can make a double jinx if I open it in oh! doors. Can I? Yeah, but that but that but the opening umbrella is not a Chinese thing though. No, that's a I'm saying double chicks. Yeah, like that's a I, Western I do thing. Asian and Western. Oh right my god, this is bad luck. Well the reason why you cannot give a Chinese person an umbrella, or should not, is because umbrella in Chinese is uh san, mm -hmm. which also means to fall apart or separate. Yeah. Like and it's those loose. are two very negative terms for Chinese people. We don't want to separate right. and we don't want to fall apart. Right. Nobody does. And if you offer it to somebody like a colleague or a, a loved one or a friend, it makes them feel that like you're saying that our relationship is, it's like a subtle way of saying like, I don't want to be in this relationship So, so basically, if you want to break up with someone, guys, a Chinese person, just throw a umbrella at them. It's like Ooh. this one, just spear them. No, don't, don't do that. That's like, that's bad. You know who gave you that one, right? Who? Yi. What is it with you and your girlfriend giving y'all like horrible she, gifts? She gave she gave you that and she gave Ben an umbrella. Yeah, you guys. So your two closest friends, you both give umbrellas to. You're just know, like man. something wrong with you we, people. We didn't know about this yeah. one. You should never give a Chinese person cut flowers that are white and also chrysanthemums. Um, they could be cut. 
usually they're cut uh, and fresh because basically that's what you give at a funeral. Mm -hmm. yep. So do not give those kind of flowers. If you're gonna give flowers, you know, stick to the roses, the lilies, the tulips, whatever they are, okay? We actually, you know what? I don't feel like a lot of Chinese people, we love flowers. Hmm. Flowers are not a typical, like if you're gonna go visit your Chinese friend, right. you wouldn't bring him or him or her flowers. But you don't do that in the West either. Think about I mean, it. Think well, about well it. no, no, no. Like, right. if you go visit, like, let's say your girlfriend's mother right. or her parents. You're not bringing her flowers. No, in the West, you you're, probably will. I'm not bringing her flowers. Really? No. You're not going to bring your, like, you're going to meet your girlfriend's parents. Like, here, here's some flowers. No, me. no. Yo, so I would do that. Okay, I give flowers on Mother's Days. Like on, on holidays, but people give that birthdays. as a that's a very common thing to really? do. Yeah. Really, really, I didn't. Okay, I mean, but in I China mean, it's like they yeah. give fruit, they, right, right, or money. No, they, <laughs> you're not giving your girlfriend's mom money. Home you're trying to buy Hold her. On, you're not giving her a home bow? Where are you from? <laughs> Hold on, why what? are you here? Yo, 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 get yo. out! I need I need some help though, for I, real. What do ridiculous. I give my girlfriend's mom? As get her a, as a gift. Well, your girlfriend's mom is pretty well to do, right? So, so you you have to give her like something. Uh, I mean, if you, if you just do, do give fruit, you can't go wrong with it. I feel like it's so no no. You can't fruit. you can't really go wrong with fruit. Okay. Maybe get her some like expensive chocolates. Really? Chocolates? What, what else are you gonna get her? What else are you gonna get her? I mean, I, dude, we're what ruling out all these things. Get her though. flowers. She probably likes flowers. I'll tell you something else. You guys should not give anyone scissors. I mean, why would anyone give someone scissors? It's like, happy birthday. That's like the worst present ever. Yo, I'll take scissors, man. I love scissors. Really? Yeah. You, know, you, go, you love scissors. Yeah, because they cut stuff, you know what I'm saying? How, I many, need how many, really, how many pairs of scissors I'll do you I'll tell you need? what. I always like a really nice pair of scissors. That, that's really? like super sharp and just like, because like, you know, you sometimes you do arts and crafts. Right? Okay. And you want to cut the things nicely. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, everyone does arts and crafts. And I have different, you know, I have like four different kinds of scissors, right? I There's have different kinds oh, of yeah. scissors. I have, uh, I have shears for when I uh, flower arrange. What is this kind? That's just like a regular, like a regular what paper scissors. I have no idea what that you know is. You know what this is? What is that? Yo, this is a Korean barbecue scissor. That's what it is. That's <laughs> a, those, those are kitchen scissors. Yeah. yeah. Anyways. Yeah, this is the only kind I have. So. But also scissors, knives, and anything that's sharp. Right. And there's actually a saying. It's called yi dao liang duan. Mm -hmm. Basically, is what you say in the old days when you want to break up with someone. Guy or girl. Like, wo gen yi dao liang duan. It's like one cut. Two parts. Exactly. It's swift and clean and basically you, this one and the umbrella, if you want to show that you want to end the relationship somehow, you yeah, give that Yeah, or them. give them the umbrella and then cut it in half with the scissors. Oh, that's just mean, bro. That's very absolute. That's mean. All right, I got another one for you, the fellas out there, okay? Never give or also wear a green hat. Now, this is olive green, so it's not quite green, so I, f I don't feel bad for wearing it because it's not really that it's green. It's great at me. It's, um, here's what it means. It's, in Chinese, it's tai lu mao zi, which is wear a green hat. And it basically symbolizes that your spouse, your significant other is cheating on you. And it's a form of like, hum it's like you're, you're humiliated. If you wear it in public, people are like, ha ha ha. That, well, I don't know if they laugh at you, but they definitely be like, oh, like sh that guy, that guy, you know, that guy's wife cheated on him. So don't give this and don't wear this. Here's something else you should never give someone. I don't really feel like this is a common gift. Right. Shoes. Okay. And these are nice shoes. Yeah, those are nice these shoes. Are, these are mine. These are my nicest pair of shoes. Yeah, they're really nice. Dress shoes for any occasion. So pretty. Mm-hmm. I only have like three pairs of shoes. <laughs> anyway, the reason you should not give shoes is because shoes in Chinese is called xie, mm -hmm. which means evil. Yeah. You don't want to give someone evil, do you? Also, giving someone shoes means they're they're wearing it and they're trampling upon it, which is also not ji li. We're right. not very lucky in Chinese. Mm -hmm. Another two reasons is uh, there's a phrase called chuan xiao xie, which is wearing small shoes, which means that like you like to create difficulty for others. And also, it also means like you're kind of sending someone off, um, not death like the clock, but it's just kind of like saying farewell to them, which also yeah. isn't good. Also, you don't really typically know the person's shoe size, do you? Right. That'd be kind of creepy. Guys, never give a Chinese person a mirror. Do you see an evil spirit in here? Is there an evil spirit? No, they see the back of my room. <laughs> 
Well, guys, basically a mirror is, uh, first of all, they break easily, and breaking a mirror is really bad luck. And also, um, they say that in Chinese, like when we did a bunch of like ghost stories, um, it attracts or it represents ma malevolent spirits in Chinese culture. So you don't want to give a mirror to somebody. Yeah, and also there's a lot of haunted mirrors. Even in the West, there's like sayings that a mirror traps the soul or something like that. Mirrors the portal to another dimension. Yeah. Let's stay away from that. Something else never to give a Chinese person is a book. And especially not a financial words you should know book. What kind of crap is this, man? I found that. That's you a free book. That. Look, Let it's me, got the you know glue why it's free? Of it. Why is it? Why is that? Because it's got weird <laughs> shaped glue in front of on top of it. This is just don't gross. Give, don't give it to this me, bro. Nasty. Don't. Take it back. Sorry. The reason you don't want to give book is because book in Chinese is called shu, which means to lose. Nobody wants to lose. It's just weird because books is like literally one of the most popular gifts in Western culture. Yo. Everyone's like, give a book, give I, a book. I, I, I will hate it if someone gave me a book. Really? I hate it. All right, I got another one for you Cantonese people out there. Um, when people get married, it, you know, you give gifts. Never give somebody a walk, okay? Because walk in Cantonese is walk, walk. I can't do that. It's like walk. and also sounds just like wo, which is, means calamity or disaster. Yeah. So don't give it to a newlywed or else they're, you're basically wishing them. Just give them. it to me. I'll take a walk. Exactly. Something else you guys should be aware of. Not only is it important to be aware of what kind of gifts you're giving, but it's also important to be aware of how you're wrapping the gift. So if you wrap your gift in black or white wrapping paper or a bag, it's not good. Well, it's not good. in the West, we know that black represents death, funeral, That's right. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, in China also includes the color white. That's yeah. why you go to Chinese funerals, you see a lot of people dressed in white, right. um, walking around kind of like white robes. That's a color of death. So exactly. no, no, nothing white. Yeah. No white wrapping, no white flowers, right. no white. Now, another color related gift thing is actually uh, don't give a red pen. And here's, here's the funny thing, right? Red is what you're supposed to, is like the color that represents fortune and all this stuff. Why is anybody giving someone a red pen? I don't know, but I don't know, man. It's, it's, a, a, good it's a good gift. Teacher? It's a good gift. It's a good gift, you know what I'm saying? I, dude, 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 if some, you know me, man, if you gave me a, a writing utensil, I'm weird, I like books, yeah. writing utensils, scissors, I love that kind of stuff, right? I actually went and bought a red pen. Yeah, so just go to Staples, shop for you. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you, man, office supply stuff. Um, don't give anybody, you the red other stuff, like red envelope, that's cool, yeah. but not a red pen, because red ink, guys, it, in the past is what they use, two things, what they use um, for criminals. Like yeah. If you're a criminal, you wrote your uh, name in red, I don't know, maybe with your finger or somehow. So it's related to criminals and also uh, maybe dying. Yeah. Uh, so don't give red ink. And actually the emperor also used to, was the only one that was allowed to use red ink. And in that case, it was a vermilion stamp. So no one else could actually use that as well. Right. So that's another thing. A very lucky color is gold. Chinese people love gold. They love gold. And that's also why spring rolls were, are eaten during celebrations in China because they look like little gold ingots. Oh yeah. So we, we're obsessed with gold. We love gold. If you go to oh, Chinese man. weddings, you see people give gold like all the time. I've seen so much gold at Asian weddings that I'm just like, oh my gosh, like this is crazy. There's the amount of, this is like Fort Knox over here. Yeah, man. I'll tell you guys about Asian weddings sometimes. It's crazy stuff. I know everything there is to know about Asian weddings because yeah. I, I, I was in that profession for so long. Yeah, I, I went I went to some with you, man. Yeah. It was eye-opening, eye-opening. So there you go, guys. Those are some things you should not give or never give Chinese people. Yep. So hopefully uh, if you're ever in that situation, you're dating a Chinese girl or if you're meeting the parents, or meeting a colleague, whatever it is, whatever case it might be. Yeah. Hopefully this is helpful to you. Yeah. And guys, make sure you check out Mike and I's brand new channel, the news channel, Double Chin News. We post videos like every single like day, many videos a day. If you guys will go right there, there's a slew of videos. We talk about inspirational stories, like shocking stories, cool stories, weird stories, funny stories. Yeah. So stuff that we like that we want to share with you every single day. So check that out. And uh, guys, let us know if we left off something on this list. We actually we covered a lot, it was like like over 10 items yeah. here. But let us know nonetheless, and maybe something in like other smaller regions of China that we might have missed. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoy the video. Thank you so much for watching. See ya. Bye.